Of course. Well, this is probably going to be action times. I'm clobbering. Oh. Bye now. You shoes, you lose. Oh. So I put you into A. Just get ready to hit something or grab something. Oh, of course. F this shoe rack! Oh, nice! That was pretty good. I'm into it. Now what? Hammer time. We'll go ladder because sledge might be too heavy. Obstructions are good. That went well. Screwdriver. Nice. Good work. Oh, but now I got a body on top of me. Thank you. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? This Troy Kenny thing's not gonna go well. <laughs> Anything back here I can look at? Now that he's uh, not there to monitor. Okay. So we have to go back. Something's gonna happen. Why are you making me walk this slow? There we go. Who are you? It's me! Luke! Yay! Yes. Man, bit the hell out of me. Sorry, bro. I think you drew blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. We all were. Nah, it's good to see you too, kid. Alright, listen. We ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. So that's our way out. Places to to get you all free, but. I haven't been able to find anything yet. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. Fair enough. I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just... I like his attitude. We just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Okay, I I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. I think Bonnie's going to be my be best angle for that. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need... Since she mentioned Luke earlier. Just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The 
hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Man, they're shuffling me around everywhere. This season's a lot more linear than the first one. Like, it's just beat to beat to beat. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. Alright. So, you should probably go. Don't call me dude. Not your dude, dude. Rebecca. That's not She's good. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks Now like I'm that. more convinced he might be Commander Anjani. Depression sink in during times like this. No way. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. Totally not a cult. Around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. All right, He's gaslighting. Of screw ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. Us? You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. You know what I wish? What's that, honey? I wish Kenny had killed you. And there's all the proof I need right there. You think anyone out there would have the balls to say something like that? There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. You looking for a babysitter? That keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing. If I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. Not all creepy right. at all. Bill? You there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really not the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Troy has no chill. Carver might take care of Troy for me at this rate. That's great. He's that incompetent. We all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. So Kenny so and Luke have the same just plan. Just figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but... It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Sound draws walkers. 
There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an open. Okay, so they know about Luke, I guess. I... You know about Luke? Okay. He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. Cool. So Mike's that in. Seems reasonable. Supposedly. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. I like the Luke plan. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. I like it when Kenny is behind okay. me. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what Fair your enough. problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Who are you? Yay! Words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Yay, we're doing this again. I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. I like you. I like you a Where lot. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so we probably won't fall to your death. Great. Uh, I <laughs> love that attitude. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. It seems pretty flimsy. This plan? Yeah, I agree with that. Clem, it's you or nobody, so you're nominated. We yeah. gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. This could go really poorly, or it could go... Don't let go. I got you. Okay, what was that hook? Oh, that was the other end. I'm gonna swing for the ladder if I get a chance. Try to hurry, all right? I Come don't on. think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. So they're gonna make me grab it, huh? Oh, that's the herd. We're in trouble. I don't think we have time for the radio plan. This is gonna get hairy. I like Harry. 
how many quick time events we gonna screw up tonight. And so far we've been good, but they're probably distracted by the walkers. That's not a good sign. So you're not sure? What about how many there are? Yeah. Not a good idea. I hope they pass by us. Is it already this time? I don't know. I don't think we are. How much longer do we have to save the I figured the other options would have just got me caught, so. Don't want to push my luck there. There's Tavia. She okay, she's watching the radios. Kinda glad I didn't have to potentially get Bonnie in trouble by stealing one from yeah. her. You think Bill Go on. Nah, it's just I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe Spit it there out. Go. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. So the expansion's a liability. I figured we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. Oh, that must have been the bang. Have to call the prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before Two. we started expanding. Oh, that's the way we could talk to him. Good plan. I hope she doesn't keep counts of those things, because otherwise we'd be in trouble. You can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. Wait, what Vince? You, you know what? I'm just going to tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince. Vince, come on. Vince. He sounded really familiar. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Everybody stay where you are. No need to draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I'm I told the best. You probably wouldn't die. Nice job. I like her. Thanks. Yep. Anyway, get some rest. Jane, okay. Jane is cool. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. Oh, Kenny. First things that come to mind <laughs> Poor are always Kenny. the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Is that going to still be this episode, or are we done? All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... You might want to hide that. Tyler. 
Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. Great. All right, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him. Thank you for seeing some reason. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Thank you. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Let's go. Troy, no chill.